Unveiled Ghost. Today we're going to play some more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorer of the Sky. Explorers of Sky. I kind of forgot what the title is. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, our characters are Ghosty, the Charmander, and Invalid, the Skitty. I still haven't done anything more with the background, but you know what? I'm sure you guys don't mind, right? Are we going to do that Bidoof episode? No. I'm not. Not today. <laughs> uh, in the last episode, we took on Drowsy, the first boss of the game. Even though we've played like two hours of this game, most of that's been dialogue. <laughs> so, you know, your, your typical standard uh, Pokemon game. <laughs> nah, but this game's cute. It really is. You know, I don't give it enough credit. It's a very cute game, very well made. I love the story. Uh, the story does get, like, very interesting later, you know, at some point it gets interesting. <laughs> you know, it's getting interesting. We met Grofile, sorta, you know, he was in the shadows, it was really cool artwork there. We'll see what that's all about pretty, pretty soon. Yeah, th this mystery dungeon game, Sky, Darkness, Time, those three are, like, my favorite mystery dungeon games out of all of them. Mainly because I remember them the most. Even though I have, <laughs> like, very little memories of them. <laughs> but also because I just think they're the most fun. I think they're the best. Like, when I think of a mystery dungeon game, these three are the ones that come straight to mind. I mean, don't get me wrong. Red or blue, I can't remember which one. One of those was my first Pokemon mystery dungeon game, and I have very fond memories of that, of those two games. Whichever one I had, I can't remember which one I had. <laughs> I don't remember if I had it for the DS or the Game Boy. I really don't. I know I have one of them. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere around here, you know. <laughs> Look, my memory's not the best. And I have a lot of games, don't judge me. I would say that uh, since they are the first Pokemon Mi Mystery Dungeon games, they are a little rough around the edges, but they're still great games in my opinion. Though I like this one a lot more. I just think they're a little better made. They've got more polish to them, a better story. The characters annoy the frick out of me. <laughs> well, okay, only Bidoof and Wigglytuff really annoy me. <laughs> Everyone else is just kind of there. <laughs> I like Loudred. Loudred's the best. <laughs> There's a lot to love about these games. And, you know, I feel like I just haven't been giving this game enough credit. So I'm gonna... I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm giving it credit. It's a great game. It's a wonderful game. 10 out of 10. And that's why I'm playing it. <laughs> but uh, don't get me wrong, I can't remember which one it is out of all the new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Which ones are there? There's like Super Mystery Dungeon and there's Gates to Infinity or Gates of Infinity or something like that. I can't remember which- one of them is like really boring and stupid and I hate it. And the other one is like actually kind of decent. And I can't remember which one is which. <laughs> if I saw the box art I could tell you. But I, I, I don't have them in front of me, so I don't know. Whichever one came out later, I think. I think the later one is the better one, which is kind of surprising, right? You'd think it'd be the older one that's better, but no, I, I'm pretty sure it's the newer one out of those two that's the better one. But only in terms of gameplay. In terms of everything else, it's kind of just eh, you know? It's like, mm, okay, well, I've seen all this before, but because mm, <laughs> I've played a mystery dungeon game before. <laughs> But, you know, it was better than the other one. So, there, there's that going for it. Will we play those games? Maybe. I'm not sure about the boring one. Whichever one's the boring one, I don't think I want to I don't think I want to replay that one. <laughs> but I'll play the good one. <laughs> Someday, maybe. And three. Smiles go for miles. Okay, we'll finally start the freaking video. I'm sorry, it's been five minutes. I know, you guys are bored. You're bored and you're leaving and you, you don't care about me at all. You just want to get the game. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sick and my throat's killing me, so, you know. If I suck, you know, that's, well, I mean, that's what you expect by now, right? <laughs> okay, Pokemon. Ah, time to get to work. Ah. Hooray! Hooray! Work! We love to work! Woo! Oh, you two! Arr, let me give you your assignment for today! Arr. Look up jobs on the job bulletin board, not Lama Nova. Okay, I don't care. I really don't care, Jetot. Okay, cool. Thank you. Get on with it! 
You know, that is not the voice that I picture for Chatot. I actually picture him having uh, a British accent. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. I do. I picture him having a British accent. Mainly just because he's so grumpy. He's so grumpy. And when I think of grumpy people, I think of, you know, the stereotype uh, in American movies mostly. Where, you know, you have the evil British dude. <laughs> or sometimes he's not even evil. Sometimes he's just like a, a mean guy who's just kind of there like a bully. <laughs> but uh, we're, we'll stick with the parrot voice. Because I'm tired of doing British accents. I've been doing too many British accents. I'm tired. I'm retiring the accent. It's never returning. Unless it does in the near future. <laughs> Which it probably will. Okay, let's just take mm, all the beach cave ones. Because we could do them all at once. That's like the best way to do the jobs. You got you wanna take like multiples at the same area. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take them all. I'm just gonna take every single one. If I can. Okay, I can. Cool. Alright. Oh, look at these Puccinas! Puccinas so cute! Oh, I love Puccina! The three of us are the Puccina brothers. We're Team Pucci. Oh, I love Team Pucci. We stick to tracking outlaws. We chase and chase and chase our targets, and then we catch them when they're too tired to move. Oh, outlaws are also ranked. They're all they're easiest in E rank. The criminals get tougher in D rank. They get even tougher in C and so on. Oh, I know. We target only outlaws with a C rank. They have bigger bounties on them than the ones with E and D ranks. There's a catch. Outlaws with a C rank are much tougher. We have to fight those crooks carefully, otherwise we could take a beating. Oh, I love Team Pucci. Team Pucci. Team Pucci is my favorite team. Out of all the teams. Best team. It's just three dogs. <laughs> just three dogs. <laughs> the best team. Wait, there's a Spinda! Oh, hold the phone! I want to talk to Spinda. Hey, Spinda. Uh, Hopes and dreams. This is a rock. It's a big rock, Spinda. It's a, it's a big rock. I don't know what the heck's up with that Spinda, man. They're on something. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to the beach cave. It kind of sucks that you can only go to one place per day. I've thought that in like every single mystery dungeon, but you know. Every single Mystery Dungeon game has the same rule where you only do- you only go to one place per day, and I just- I kinda don't like it. I'm over it, man. I wanna do as many as I want per day, and then I can go to sleep. Or at least three times a day, come on, like, make it at least more than once a day. <laughs> Cause it's annoying. Have to go through like, an hour of dialogue after this, and I just- I'd rather be in the cave, you know? This is the gameplay. I like to enjoy it. Oh, god dang it, Shelter. You know, I would love a Shelter on my team. When do we get teammates? I want to get a teammate. I'm level 11 and I learned nothing. Cool. And you're level 11 too, invalid. <gasps> you can learn a new move- Dude! <laughs> Skitty is OP. Skitty just keeps learning new moves. What do you want now? Sing? How good is Sing in this game? Obviously, uh, but what is it, um... What you call it? Hit ratio. Is that good? Uh, that's a lot of stars. I think it's good. I'm not really sure, honestly. Hit ratio is about the same as in headbutt. Okay. What about tackle. Tackle's a bit more. Okay, I see. I don't like how it's in stars. I wish it was. It would give me numbers, but whatever. So everything is so useful. Skitty just learns the most useful moves. Tackle's useful because it's a normal type move and I'm a normal type Pokemon. Fake out's useful because it makes things it makes enemies flinch. Zen headbutt's useful because it's freaking Zen headbutt. And attract is useful because I'm a female Skitty. And everyone, like most Pokemon are male. Many Pokemon, especially uh, I would say Gen 4 and below, are typically uh, either 50-50 in their gender ratio, or they're more likely to be a male than a female. I mean, that's even evident in the partners list, right? Most of our partners were male and not female. I'm not sure if that's because I'm a male. Maybe if I were a female, I would have had more female options, but I don't... I don't know, I'm just assuming... Anyway, it tracks really good because I'm a female Skitty, I'm a female Pokemon. I might get rid of Tackle. How much does Fake Out do? I'm gonna rift tackle. No, come on. You forget you forget tackle, thank you. 
Got it, leveled up. Another thing that I don't really like about Mystery Dungeon is the fact that it waits so long before you can evolve your Pokemon. I, I just, I get the premise, you know, it's cute being, you know, little and whatever. But it's also annoying. It's incredibly irritating. I just want to evolve so bad. You know how I lo you know how I feel about evolving, man. I love evolving. It's like my favorite thing about Pokémon. They evolve. As a kid, I didn't want Pokémon that didn't evolve. I really like Pokémon that evolve, and I really like to see my Pokémon evolve. It just irritates me that my Pokémon can't evolve. Well, this two starters Pokémon can anyway can't evolve until like late game. Actually, no, it'd be everybody. Everybody can't evolve until late game, right? In most of these games. It's just an ir it's just irritating, man. I want my Pokemon to evolve. I want to see them grow and change. I mean, I get why they gotta be tiny. But can't you just, you know, extend the levels, maybe? Like, instead of Charmander evolving at level 16, maybe he evolves at some point in the story. You know, or maybe he evolves at, like, level 25, or... Whatever, you know? Maybe he evolution can be incorporated into the story somehow like you don't evolve until a certain point in the story and then it like stops the story and goes oh wow you're evolving or oh wow your partner's evolving and it just it's different uh, depending on what partner you have I don't know all I'm saying is man I like evolution and I want my Pokemon to evolve anyway Let's continue on. <laughs> I just went on a long, boring, unnecessary tangent that nobody cares about. I do that a lot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just a bit of a loser, you know? I'm just a bit of a dork. Give me the sleep seed. Oh, nice. Don't eat it. Don't eat that. Wait, hold on a second. Is this game one that's gonna tell me? Like, wh when I have, uh... Oh, I just realized something. I, I'm so stupid. I, ju I just realized. I, I took the jobs from the job list, but I didn't accept them. I'll show you guys what I mean when we get back to town, because... Uh, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so... I'm really so stupid. I'm just the stupidest person in the freaking world. We should get some sleep, too. Let's make tomorrow another good day. Up and at him, it's morning. Okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. And three, smiles go for a mile. <laughs> okay. I am so stupid. See, I took them, but I didn't take the jobs. Oh. Oh, that makes me upset. That makes me so upset. I'm so stupid. I really am. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm really dumb. Okay, now there's Mount Bristle ones. Oh my gosh. I can't take more outlaws. Okay, that's fine. Well, then I don't want it! I don't want it! Oh, yeah. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Now, what What even are these jobs? I should probably look at what they are. Find an Oran Berry. Please trade me one. Find an Oran Berry. Okay. Bla find a blast seed. Help me in my Pokemon search. Okay. Dun dun dun! Do I have an orange berry and a blast seed? I have an orange berry. Do I have a blast seed? No. I guess I'll have to go buy one then, because what are the odds that I find one unless it's in the cave? I'm not really sure. It might be in the cave. But just in case, I should probably go buy a blast seed so I don't have to deal with any BS. Okay, yeah, I did. Wow, I got your thanks. That's nice. I wish I had, you know, something a little more tangible than that. <gasps> There's a Vigoroth! You don't have a blast seed. I don't like you. Toxic would be nice. Full fear orb, escape orb. Da -da -da -da. That might be nice, just in case, you know, have an out. Hey, Vigoroth. Yo, another great day! Good luck with your guild training! Thanks. Now, let's actually go to the freaking beach cave for real this time. Oh, I'm so upset with myself. 
I hate Corsola. Oh. You've reached a destination floor. Wow. I've reached a destination floor. I don't know what I'm doing here. Is this the blast seed or the orange berry? I don't... I don't know. Are you the person who wants the... Oh. Hey, I found the orange berry. Can you stop walking away from me? <laughs> there we go. Yes, you found shells! Oh, I found shellos. Okay. Thank you! Great, cool. But no! 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 Jesus Christ. Stop it. Stop that. <laughs> you reached the destination floor. Alright. Shellos is uh, infatuated. And now they're dead. <gasps> Somebody picked up a blast seed. How dare they? How dare they? I need that. I need that. Who? Who picked up the blast seed? I found an orange berry. Wait, no! 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 Yes. I found a sleep seed. Where's the blast seed? Where's the blast seed? Where's the blast seed? I'll murder you. I'll murder you for it. Where is it? Which one of you mother effers took it? I wasn't even- I'm not even sure which Pokemon took it. Ow! Did you take it? No. Did you take it? No. Which one of you losers took it? Did you take it? No. Oh my gosh. Did you take it? No. It's a good thing, because I can't get in the water. I'm gonna just assume that I didn't need that blast seed. Look, see, I reached another destination floor, so obviously... The blast seed is somewhere in here. Look at that. I found a sleep, sleep seed and I found a blast seed. I think... I think we're good now. Yeah, I think I only took three jobs for this place. Watch me look at my job list and we had a fourth one. <laughs> Thank you for getting me the orange berry. Please accept a lot of money. And, uh, I have to give a lot more. I have to give most of that to the guild. Gravel rock? Wow! We got ten rocks. Yay! I love rocks, says Invalid. Thank you for giving me the blast seed. Please accept this. Wow. Heal seed. Okay. Thanks. Here's more rocks. Cool. Where did you get more sleep? The gatekeeper. Oh, frick. The next morning. But no, I wasn't re I'm not ready. I want to do more missions. Up and at him. It's morning. Okay. Oh, good morning, ghosty. Would you like to save your adventure? I guess. Dun, 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 dun. And three. Smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon. All right, time to get to work. Hooray, work. We. Hey, yo, Joe. Yeah. We need your help with something today. Oh, am I gonna do the Diglett job today? Diglett, I brought them! Thank you, Loudred. You two are doing sentry duty today! Sorry, I'm usually the one- You know what? No. Sorry, I'm usually the one to do sentry duty, but today my dad gave me his duty of updating the boards. That's why I can't man my post. It would be great if someone could take over my sentry duty for today, and that's why you're here. Please do a good job for me. Bye! Okay, whatever. Yeah, that's that! Huh, I didn't follow that at all. How do we get involved in this? Shut your yap! No more belly I can go do your duty! Oh, my head hurts. What are we expected to do anyway? Climb down this hole and stand guard! You're on sentry duty! Sentry duty? You heard right! Sentry duty! We can't have suspicious characters coming into the guild! So we station a sentry below the guild entrance to evaluate Pokemon visitors! Blah 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 blah. Oh wow, yeah, I got it. Oh, that happened. Oh, whoa, it was grating. Diglett buries through and pops out underneath the blah blah blah. I don't know how he just he went into the wall. That was weird. From the sentry post, he inspects the stuff. The footprints. The, uh. Beedoof, I almost said Bigfoot. <laughs> then I decide if the Pokemon's a murderer or not and open the gate if he's not. So where are the gatekeepers? Yeah, 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 yeah. The gatekeepers? Uh, 
Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Yeah, well, it's pitch black in here, ghosty. Good thing I have cat eyes so I can see in the dark, cause I got night eye. You don't, though. You're a- you're a lizard. I don't- I don't think they can see in the dark. Not- not really sure about that, actually. We'll have to feel our way. Thoughts, thoughts. Well, we should be getting close to the sentry post. Oh, there it is. I see lights, ghosty. No, don't go into the light, invalid. No, invalid. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going, bros? <laughs> Have you taken possession of the sentry post? Yep, we're here. God, Pokemon visitors are coming. Okay, cool. Yep, we got it. Great. Can't wait to do this. I don't know any Pokemon footprints, so I'm gonna be trash. Cool, I only get two wrong. Oh, I have to do it. Oh, okay, cool. Here comes a Pokemon. Wow, that's Hitmonlee. Wow, that's... It's Blastoise. That's a Blastoise. Why are they giving me the pictures? <laughs> that doesn't help me at all. <laughs> I know what the Pokemon is. I need more information about the footprint. Alright. Okay, cool. I'm ready. That is... Print plug? No. For alligator. Ah, footprints for alligator! Footprints for alligator! Okay, cool! Woo! You're right! Alright. Okay, what's next? It's, um... Heracross? The footprint is Heracross's! The footprint is Heracross's! Oh, I was right! Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Alright, who's next? Who's next? Uh, freaking uh, Charizard. The footprint is Charizard! The footprint is Charizard's! Heck yeah. Oh man, I'm pretty good at this. Why am I so good at this? <laughs> oh god. Venus... Venusaur? Venusaur? The footprint is Venusaur! The footprint is Venusaur! Heck yeah. Now number six, please. I'm getting a lot of peas for this. Heck yeah. That's definitely a mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm, combustion or Blaziken. It's Combustion! Oh, I got it right! I got it right! I knew it, because Blaziken, his feet are a little weird, you know? It's more spiky, I think. I think it would be like, it would include the fluff, even though I'm pretty sure his actual talons are more chicken-like. So I think it'd be spiky with the little talon. You know, I, I probably should draw a picture or something. I'm really bad at explaining anything, but whatever. Sorry to keep you waiting. Invalid and Ghosty, that'll do. Now get back here. Dang, I was pretty good at that. You've worked an honest day, you two. All right, let me review your sentry duty performance. Holy frick. Your results were completely perfect. Yay. I did it. You identified every visitor correctly. The, the clapping gave me a little heart attack. I was like, ah, what's the noise? <laughs> oh, freak, they're shooting at me. They're shooting at me. Ah, ah. <laughs> it really did startle me. <laughs> Don't know if you guys could tell. Excellent. We did it. Yay. Well, reward your effort. Generously, I might add. Ooh, really? You all deserve an especially large reward. <gasps> oh. That's not even as much as I would normally get from a job. I got over 6,000 P for that. I should have at least gotten 600. Whatever. I got a joy seed. I forgot what that does. <gasps> oh, and a ginseng. Ooh. You mean a carrot? <laughs> but that's not the end of it. <gasps> I got a life seed. Oh, heck yeah. I was sent to storage. I'm pretty sure a life seed is like a revive, right? So many rewards, can you believe it? Nope. Keep up the good work! Dude, can I do that again? That was fun. I want to do it every day. <laughs> every day. That's all I want to do now. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. And three smiles go for miles! Woo hoo hoo! Oh! Uh, nope, same thing. Okay, cool. Bye bye. Bye bye. Alright, what do we got today on the job bulletin board? I don't want to take any more beach cave garbage. I'm going to take some Mount Bristle stuff. Heck yeah. Dun 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 dun! Alright, but today we're, we're going to go to Drenched... I forgot what it's called. The Drenched Bluff? Is that what it's called? I wasn't really looking- Yes, Drenched Bluff, that is what it's called. Okay, wow! Good! I have a great memory of things that I only, you know, half read. <laughs> ah, frick. Don't do that. It's mean. 
Oh, I forgot to like organize my inventory and stuff. I should probably do that someday, but I I don't feel like it. <laughs> oh, did I forget to take the jobs again? I think I might have forgotten to take the jobs again. I don't think so. No, there was a letter. There was a letter icon when I went to this place. I'm pretty sure, so that meant I, that means I took the jobs. Yeah. Don't scare me, me. Ooh, there's a red gummy. I want it. I love gummies. Give me that. Dope. All right. Um. I don't know if I should be giving the gummies to Skitty. I can't remember if Skitty already has like all the IQ points or if I do need to give them gummies. I don't remember. Let me look at your IQ again. See, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. I won't know until I get another Pokemon and see their IQ and see if it's just as bad. Or if it, I mean, just as good? <laughs> Whatever. I'm passing over the apple, I better eat that. It's, uh, my apple. Da 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 Frick, dead end. Da 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 Wow, you did not like that anorith. An XI seed? Oh, I better eat that. Wow, I can't see properly. Why did I do that? What is this? Oh, that's a wonder tile. Oh, it's a. F it looks like a. Fl you look like a substitute. <laughs> Man, that didn't last long. I wish that had lasted a bit longer. It was fun. Oh well. I'm gonna keep going then. I guess I took what Spenda was having. <gasps> Wanted outlaw! You fallen right into my trap! Oh god. Well, this is not good. It's a good thing you guys are really weak. Uh, what should I do about this? Do I have any... Hmm, I don't have any good orbs. I could warp out of here if it gets un unbearable. I don't know. I'm gonna throw this. F you, Chingling. Okay, well that's one down. Dude, this stupid Chingling's like an anime boss. You fall and right into my trap! No, you know what he's like? He's like... Seto Kaiba. <laughs> You've activated my trap card, Yugi! <laughs> oh, you're a, mo you're a boy Chingling, so you're screwed. I don't even know which Chingling's the right Chingling anymore. Ow. Ow. I should probably be doing actual moves. Yeah, I should probably do actual moves. Ow! Ow, why? Use Ember. Okay, that's one Shingling down. Ow! Ow, please! Please, no! Okay, I need to eat this orange berry, because I'm about to die. Yeah, you keep using Attract. My attack fell. Oh no, it's a good thing I'm using a special attack. So that doesn't matter. Okay, I found the outlaw. It's that one. <laughs> Everyone became sleepless. Well, that's not good. Um, I'm gonna use a scratchy scratch on- oh, okay. <gasps> Something fell on the ground. A disc. I need that. I don't know what it was because- oh, it's taunt. Okay. Well, now I don't really want it. <laughs> God dang it. <gasps> Skinny, no! Skinny, no! What? Wait, really? Because Skitty died? Uh, well, that wasn't so good. Eh. Screw you, Unvalid. It's harder than I thought. Let's go home for the day. <laughs> God dang it, you weenie. We had that guy. We had that guy. I just wasn't focusing on him because I wanted the f extra XP. Guess I should have focused on it. focused on him first. Oh well, whatever. Ah, you two, stop sucking. Okay, I'm sorry. Well, let's go for it again. I've reached the destination floor. Wow. Oh. 
Hey, are you the outlaw? Because if you are, I'm wrapped. God dang it. Oh, now you're asleep. Dan, I'm, I'm still wrapped. Somehow. <laughs> I'm still wrapped. <laughs> I'm still wrapped. God dang it. Okay, here we go. I didn't mean to use scratch. Uh, well, whatever. It wasn't the real shingling, so it's fine. <gasps> what the frick? That's a big apple. I won! No! I won it! Oh, I found a duo. Okay. Do I not get another chance to fight the outlaw? No? I... I don't know, man. What are my... What are my missions, dude? Mission objectives. Okay. Floor number five is Chingling, so I just skipped over this floor. Like an idiot. Sounds about right. <laughs> a Petcha Berry heals poisoned or badly poisoned Pokemon. Wow, really? You don't say. I would have never guessed. That's incredible information. I sure hope I don't forget that. Wow, the Wanted Outlaw. You've fallen right into my trap again! Oh no, it's a monster house. Okay, this isn't good because we're actually like... In the middle of the room, and that's not that's not a good thing. That's not what you want. That's not what you like to see. Okay, well, I'm just gonna what what do I throw it? I mean that could buy us some time. Okay, I'm throwing it. Bye, get out of here. Oh he caught it. <laughs> oh no, he caught it! <laughs> he really is an anime villain. No! <laughs> that was all I had! Frick! Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm focusing on the peons again when I shouldn't be doing- Ah! Ah, I'm gonna die! I'm going to die! This is how I die! Ah! The pain! The suffering and the pain! Okay, how do we get out of here? Oh god, we're never gonna get out of here. Um... So, I screwed up. And I don't have any, um, Warren berries. I- I just realized... I forgot that you lose items when you- when you, uh, when you die. I- I really did. Okay, well... Please don't kill me. I'm just begging you. I'm just begging you at this point, please don't kill me. Oh my god. Okay. I'm going to Ember. Ow. Please stop. Please stop. Oh no, he woke up. <gasps> he attacked Skitty like an idiot! He attacked Invalid like an idiot! Oh! Oh, we could- we could win this one, boys! We could win this one, boys! We could win this one, boys! We won this one, boys! <laughs> yes. Because there's no- yes. We- there's no way. There's no way we can live. <laughs> I'm leaving while I won. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing Doduo. Please accept this. Dope. I want you to have my heel seat. Dope. It was put into storage. Even though I had room for it. Okay. Zzz, you brought Chingling in for a rest. Zzz, zzz, this is the bounty. Dope. That wasn't that much, but okay. Zzz, take this item as your reward. Zzz. Wow, a purple gummy. Great. Zzz, thank you for your cooperation. Zzz. We should get some sleep too. Let's make tomorrow another good day, ghosty. What made today a good day? Chapter 5, the first official exploration. Well, that only took a frickin' lifetime. The next morning. Up and at him, it's morning! Ah! Oh, good morning, ghosty. Good morning, ghosty. Would you like to save your adventure? Do I, I think that's enough for today. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Er, ahem. Everyone, listen up. I've forgotten my voice. I have an important announcement to make. Far to the northeast, then farther into the outermost reaches, there's a place named Tree Shroud Forest. 
In Tree Shadow Forest, time has apparently stopped. Huh? I mean, huh? Eek, what did you say? You're saying time stopped? Hey, hey, hey. Yes, that's, yes, that's correct. Time has come to a standstill in Tree Shroud Forest. I don't know what sound that was. That was definitely not a parrot. <laughs> the wind has stopped. The clouds are motionless. Dewdrops on leaves won't fall. They just hang there, suspended. In Tree Shroud Forest, time itself has truly stopped. The time has stopped. But, how could something like this- how could something this awful happen? It's unthinkable! I can't remember if Sinfor is a guy or a girl. You know, it, it's okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, the unthinkable has happened. Why t Why has time stopped in Tree Shroud Forest? Well, it's because Tree Shroud's forest sign gear was stolen. <gasps> I don't remember B Bidu's voice, oh well. Oh wait, he was southern. That's right. <laughs> The time gear was stolen. That's what made time stop. Hey, 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 hey. I'd heard it was possible, but now it really happened. I don't get it though. Why would anyone take a time gear? Quiet, everyone. Officer Magnazone has already started an investigation. It's hard to believe that anyone would dare steal a time gear. But if one time gear can be stolen, the others may be in also in danger. The officer has to be notified immediately if we notice any suspicious characters. So to keep that in mind, let's no so keep that in mind. Let us know if you noticed anything. That is all. All right, everyone. Here's to another busy day of work. Hooray! Hooray! Let's forget <laughs> that time has stopped in, in an area for some reason, you know, and that somebody stole a time gear and that the possibility of it happening again is likely very high. Let's just forget all that! Woo! Work! We love work! Oh, there you are. You there. You two, come here. You've become quite good at your work. I'm impressed with your capture of Drowsy. That was very admirable. Dude, that happened like a week ago. So! You all will finally be assigned a mission worthy of a proper exploration team. Really? Yay! Let me see your wonder map. Okay, okay. Treasure Town is here, and over here is where we would like you to investigate. Wow! See? There's a waterfall flowing here. Right? By all appearances, it's just an ordinary waterfall. But we've recently, in we but we've received intelligence that the waterfall may actually be an advanced waterfall. And that's where you come in. We want you to lot to investigate the waterfall and determine what's there. That's all. Do you understand what the mission is? Yeah. Good! Alrighty, I'll leave you to thoroughly investigate the waterfall. Ah, oh, what's wrong? You're shivering. That's... Are, are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just the anticipation that's made me nervous. This will be our first real job as an exploration team. I'm getting a bit emotional. Oh, I'm bubbling over with excitement. Let's do our very best, Ghosty. Rar. Rar XD. Wait, what do you do again? You know what? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ghosty and Invalid too. Oh? What is Chimeko doing there? <gasps> friend time? Friend time? Friend time? Hello, what's going on here? I just started an assembly here today, in fact. Assembly? Yes, for assembling your team. Have you ever considered adding members invalid? Other members? Well, sure, it'd be cool to add other members. I guess. <laughs> if there were more than just the two of us. It sure would help when we explore dungeons. Well then, you need to start recruiting new members. How do we start? I'll just ring the friendship bell for you, Team Graveyard. Here goes to ya! Chimeko rang the friendship bell. Now Team Graveyard has the power to recruit new members. Really? 
Yes, from now on, while battling Pokemon in dungeons, you may earn respect from some of them, and those Pokemon will, I will ask to join Team Graveyard. Once you have recruited a Pokemon, you can bring it along with you on dungeon explorations. To bring a Pokemon along, visit my assembly, then choose which member should join your team for the exploration. Cool. Well, thank you, Chimeko. You're the dopest Pokemon in existence. In this game, anyway. Look at the slack off and a slow poke at a camera. Why is this camera so tiny? Why is it so tiny? I need more jobs. Give me those jobs. Somebody! Somebody, please! Okay, there's nothing there. Cool. Ding! I'm gonna take all these jobs. I'm sad and lonely. I'm sad and lonely. <laughs> That's a weird one. <laughs> Not sure if we should have taken that job invalid. Now, here's the real question. Should we just go to the uh, next area and do the story, or should I do Mount Bristle? I guess I'll go to the next area. Huh? What's going on? <gasps> oh my god! That crazy Spenda actually did something here! There are stairs here! It seems there's something written on the sign. I actually don't remember the Spenda doing anything with that rock. I just thought it was, you know, being a weirdo. Huh, <laughs> what? Spenda's Cafe, a shop of hopes and dreams, opening soon, win big! It seems like there will be a new shop here soon, huh? But hopes and dreams, I wonder what kind of shop it is. I don't remember, dude. Couldn't tell you. I, uh, I literally don't remember. It might be a sky-only thing. And if that's the case, that makes a lot of sense. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. Where would you like to go? Da, 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 secret waterfall, please. Secret waterfall! Secret waterfall! Through the mountains! Sec secret waterfall. So this is the waterfall that's supposed to have a secret. Ah! The water's pouring down! Try getting close to the waterfall, ghosty- Ah, uh, excuse me. Invalid. Have you noticed the flame on my tail? Um, if you, uh... If you know anything about Charmanders, you'll know that if that thing goes out, I'm dead. Just kaput, you know? I'm dead. I'm gone. I don't want to get anywhere near that waterfall, alright? It's true. This is incredible. I can barely stand, stay staring near this deluge. <laughs> See, it's awesome. I love getting beaten up by the water. If you fall under this waterfall, I think you'd get pretty battered up. I don't think it'd be pouring down- I didn't think it'd be pouring down this hard. Where should we even start looking? Beyond the waterfall, we jump. Hmm. Something seems familiar. It's that dizziness I felt before. Wow, ghost, you're a bright one, aren't ya? Wigglytuff's been here before. That loser. This isn't even a new area. They lied. They lied to us. It happened again. I saw something. But what did I just see? Oh, what's the matter, ghosty? What? You had another vision? This time a Pokemon leaped into this waterfall? You saw that? And only that? There's a hidden cave behind the waterfall? Hmm. But it looks like the water is crashing down really hard. Imagine if there was actually a solid cliff wall behind that waterfall. Yeesh. If we tried to jump through, we'd be pounded badly. So, so Ghosty, what do you think, Ghosty? What do you think? Is there really something behind this waterfall? You're sure there's really a cave there? Well, okay, I'm gonna believe you, Ghosty. Yes, I totally believe in you, Ghosty. <laughs> Eek. Okay, I gotta be brave now. If I get scared and fail to leap through at full speed, I'm gonna die. So I better go for it without any hesitation. Be brave. Use all your courage. Ready, let's go, ghosty. Three, two, one. Now, run! <laughs> Whoa. Yo, 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 yo. What is this? Yes, it is a cave! I'm not dead! Oh, you were right after all, ghosty! <laughs> I mean, I totally believed you! <laughs> I totally didn't think I was just about to die there! <laughs> Let's go explore this cave, ghosty! Let's see what secrets it holds. 
Okay, okay. Whatever you say, man. I want to see what Pokemon we get. Which one of you losers wants to be my friend? Come on. I want a friend. I want a little buddy. Give me a buddy. I, I have not run into a single Pokemon. I'm already at the stairs. Okay. A buddy! A possible buddy! A female Grimer! Would you like to join? No. Okay. It's fine. I didn't want you anyway, smelly. Stinky, nasty, trash Pokemon. Why would I want you anyway? Gross. Oh, that's my first time I got a Blast Seed? Wow, okay. <gasps> Poliwag? I would love a Poliwag. You would be so good to us, type-wise. Ow, that hurt. Okay, well, you know what? You sucked. I d wh who wants a Poliwag? The ugliest freaking water type in existence. Literally nobody likes Poliwag. Poliwrath? Dumbest looking mother effer I've ever seen. <gasps> a Tangela? You know what? You'd be good for a typing too! Type advantage? We- You know what? Nobody wanted you- <gasps> A Wooper? Dang it! <laughs> I actually would really like a Wooper. Water and ground type? Heck yeah. It looks so dopey and I love it. I love it even more than its evolution. I wouldn't mind seeing it be a dopey little dope for the whole game. I would love a Wooper. A Psyduck? I would love a Psyduck. Ow. Quit. You're so mean. There's a bar barbroach. Barboach? Barboa? What the heck are you called again? A barbroach. A barboach. That's what you are. A barboach. Right, I knew that. Well, you know what? Wish cash is cool. I would have liked the wish cash. Wish cash? Wish cash? There's a freaking Sarskit! Okay, I should probably stop fooling around. This is some serious business, man. This cave is serious. I could die. I could die in this cave. Alright, fine. But man, I really wanted a buddy. <gasps> Hello, Tad! Dang it. Ow! Ah, I'm gonna die! This is how I die! This is- this- how do I die? Ah, this is how I die! The sun- No! Ah! Ah, you take him! You take him! Ah. Thank you, Invalid. Jesus Christ, that was terrifying. Oh no, another water type. Oh, I hate water types. No, oh, I'm right in front of the water type. Why does Scratch keep missing? Scratch shouldn't be allowed to miss. <sighs> oh, hey, buddy. Ah, ah, that could have killed me. What are you crazy? Why won't you join? <gasps> a store. Should we beat up Kecleon and hope that we can get him as a member? You know he has a negative, like, a negative 45% chance or something crazy like that to recruit him. But there's actually a way to recruit him. You need, like, a certain item that brings up the, uh... It's the golden mask, I think. You need the golden mask, and that brings up the recruitment rating by a bit. And then you also need to be level 100. And then you also need the Pokemon Jump Bluff. Look, it's a very crazy strategy. <laughs> but I know the strats. Okay, a Drought Orb? No thanks. I don't want that. A White Gummy? No thanks. A Petcha Berry? How much money do I even have? An Oran Berry? An Oran Berry might be useful. Yeah, I'll take that. How about this? You'll seed? No thanks. The merchandise is 50. Would you want to buy it? Yeah. If I had pressed the B button, <laughs> I would have been in danger. He would have killed me. He's a very scary man. Kecleon's a very scary man. Oh, gummy heaven here. Nice. Ne no, frick, I pressed the wrong button. Proceed. Floor number six. Numero Cinco, that's, uh, I mean, Cess. <laughs> Cinco is five. <laughs> F off, Grimer. F off, Grimer. Oh, that was Wooper. Ow, stop! 
Leave me alone! I'm just a poor, defenseless freaking Charmander. Jesus. I don't want that. No. Leave me alone. Stop using a track. It's a female. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die because Invalid keeps using a track. Ah! Instead of attacking moves. Decoy orb. I'm proceeding. Ooh, proceeding again. Ooh, proceeding again. Okay, cool. Beware, eating it will stun you. Oh wow, we made it through the cave. That was quick, and we didn't get a partner. Darn. Wow, will you look at that, ghosty? Look at all the gems sparkling. Wow, look over there. It's a gigantic gem. Oh wow, I've never seen a gem this immense. This is an incredible treasure. Everyone will be amazed if we take this back. Dude, it's bigger than both of us. I don't think we can carry it. Invalid tried to grab the giant gem. <laughs> nope, it's not budging. It's really stuck tight. Can you give it a try, Ghosty? Ghosty took over and tried to pull the gigantic gem. Whoa! This is really stuck! Arrgh, I'm so angry about it! <laughs> Look at his face. He's so angry. It's cute. It won't budge. Uh, nope, no, no good. So you couldn't move it either, Ghosty? But we can't just give up. If we try hard enough, we'll probably get some kind of result. Yeah, like uh, bleeding fingers from trying to pick it up. I'm gonna give it another go, Ghosty. Okay, you go for it. <laughs> hmm. It's not budging one bit. I like my little smile. <laughs> huh? Oh no. Not again. It's happening again. It's... Well, that's not good. But that was... Ah! Ah! No, it just won't come out. Invalid just happened to push the giant gem. The, the gigantic gem. Heck, that's... Huh? What's happening? No, ah, it's a flood! Do <laughs> What was our plan there? Why did we go to the left? Why didn't we go back? I don't know. Hey, we landed in the hot springs. Heck yeah. Oh, where are we? Hi, hi. Are you two okay? You plopped down from nowhere. Oh, you startled everyone. Where are we? This is the hot spring. Hot spring. Indeed, this is the hot spring. A hot spring works wonders on tired muscles and creaky joints. Many Pokemon visit here. Tell me, youngster, have you a map? Map? Oh, you're our wonder map, you mean. We have one. Unfold it for me. How did it not get ruined in all the water? <laughs> there. We are here. This is the hot spring's location. Oh, okay. The waterfall's located here, so... Hey, check this out, Ghosty! The water carried us all the way over here! My goodness, it was the water that carried you all this way. What a long journey that must have been. Also, what water? What are you talking about? Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you make your way home. Good idea, we'll do that. Thanks, everyone. Would you like to save your adventure? Sure. Hmm, let me see if I've got this all straight. Behind the waterfall, there is a cave. In the deepest part of the cave, there's a gigantic gem. When you pushed on the gem, it triggered a trap of some kind, and surprisingly, you were flushed off to the distant hot spring. Is that the gist of your report? Yeah, it's awfully disappointing that we couldn't bring the gem back. No, 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 empathetically no. This is a major discovery. Really? Undoubtedly. After all, the presence of the cave behind the waterfall, no one knew about that before now. Actually, yes, somebody did. We lied to you. Oh, I see, we made a discovery! 
Hmm, when I had those dizzy spells, the shadow of the Pokemon I saw looked a little bit like Wigglytuff, just saying. Okay, yeah, we saw these before. That shape. I've seen that shape before. That shape, there's no mistake in it. It's freaking Wigglytuff. That was Wigglytuff. Your waterfall discovery is just amazing. A guildmaster must be told, right? No, don't ruin it for them, Ghosty. Come on. Don't ruin it. Just let him be happy. Let her be happy, I mean. <laughs> Keep forgetting Skitty's a girl. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Ghosty? Pardon? You're saying Wigglytuff may have gone to that waterfall before? No, no, no. Empathetically, no. That, that's inconceivable. If that were so, the Guildmaster wouldn't have ordered you to investigate the place, right? Mm, however, since you insist, I will confirm it with the Guildmaster. Hmm, but why would they want to spoil their own discovery? How strange. I should just be... It should, I should be used to it by now. These apprentices are yet another strange crew, aren't they? What was that, Chatot? No, nothing, nothing, no, nothing, nothing. Anyway, I will confirm what you told me with the Guildmaster. Please wait here. So how'd it go? When I asked the Guildmaster, he mulled it over for a bit, and then he said, Oh, memories, sweet memories. yum ta Then he, then he danced around for a bit, and then he said, Yes, yes, when I think hard, maybe I did go there once. And that's just what the Guildmaster said. To sum it up, it's just as Ghosty suspected. He has indeed already been to Waterfall Cave. Oh, okay. That's kind of disappointing. We really thought we'd discovered a new place. I wish Wigglytuff had told us right from the start. The Guildmaster can be rather, uh, erratic at times. Even I can't quite fathom what goes on in his head. Well, that's too bad for you. Nevertheless, I shall expect your best effort tomorrow. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> Crunch, crunch, munch, crunch, munch, chew, snarf, sniffle, snarf, sniff, 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 sniff blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, it's night time. Today was exhausting. I should get to sleep early. And I almost died twice because I'm a Charmander. <laughs> ah, we went through a lot today, didn't we? But you know what? It was incredibly fun for me. Because I'm not a fire type. Sure, there was that huge letdown. But it was our first exploration. I was ready to burst with excitement and anticipation the whole time. I realized I did the right thing in becoming an exploration team member. One day I'm sure I'll solve the secret of my rock. That's my dream. If it ever comes true, I'd surely faint from sheer happiness. Hey, easy there, Jacob. <laughs> but seriously, thanks. Exclamation mark. I can explore because of you, Ghosty. Yep. Be brave. Use all your courage. I'm the biggest chicken around, and I, even I managed to work up the courage. And it was all because you were with me, Ghosty. Seriously, Ghosty, thanks. Oh, yeah. I know. You know, I was thinking. I know it's something about your dizzy spells, Ghosty. They always seem to happen when you're touching something. What? What was I touching at the waterfall? Oh, the waterfall, that's right. And I touched the rock. And then, you know, people bumped into me. Okay, come to think of it, Invalid's right. When I heard Azura scream. Yeah, 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 you touched the apple. And that other time. Yeah, 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 you touched the drowsy. And when we were exploring the cave. Yeah, yeah, you touched the waterfall. And you touched the gym. It's true, I was always after touching something. That's when I get those dizzy spells. I better stop touching things. When I touch something, I see something connected to it. Right? There's another thing. When we rescued Azuril, you had a vision of the future. But this time you saw Wigglytuff going into the cave, right? So that means... This time you saw something that took place in the past. You know what? That's right. I didn't even think about that. That that's true. In other words, Ghosty, if you touch something, you see its past or future. You must have that kind of special ability. You're like a Gardevoir or something. This could be something totally amazing. You could use it in lots of ways. Not just for exploring, either. This ability could be useful for many things. It's amazing, Ghosty. Well, yes, I guess that's true, but that doesn't mean I always get a vision every time I touch something. It's just like that. So Raven, you know, she couldn't get a vision of the future every time she wanted to. 
It would be useful if I could have visions in when I wanted, but... Hey, you two! The Guildmaster wants to see you right away! It's a good thing we're awake. Guildmaster, I brought you Team Graveyard! Guildmaster? G Guildmaster? Hiya! Your team went through a lot today. Yes, a lot. A lot, lot. But don't worry, I'm keeping watch on your activities with my big ol' eyes. I should tell you why I called you here. We're planning to mount a full expedition soon! An expedition? Yes, the guild will go explore someplace far away. It's much harder than exploring our nearby area. That's why we need to prepare for the big trip properly. We carefully choose which guild members go on the expedition. Really? Usually we would never, ever get Starokis to be expedition members, but you two are working so very hard. That's why we're making a special exception this time. We decide to include you in the list of candidates for the expedition. Really? Now, now, you haven't been chosen as expedition members yet. There is still time before we set out on the expedition. If you fail to do good work before, then you cannot expect to be selected for the expedition. I'm sure you two could do it. Try hard. Yep. An expedition, isn't it fantastic, Ghosty? My pulse is racing all of a sudden. Let's try our best to make sure we get picked for the expedition. Okay. Whatever you say. Chapter 6, Team Skull. Wow. The next morning. Up and at him, it's morning! Ah! Oh, good morning, Ghosty. Yep, it is about that time, guys. Uh, time to end, that is. So, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode if one exists. Bye.